Hey, Monica here with a new video. This video is actually a suggestion from my sister, but I'm going to do four books that surprised me. And for the surprise I'm going to do with surprise me with how much I did end up liking them instead of books that surprised me that I didn't like because normally those books I donate them after I read them if I didn't like them with the exception of two books that I was surprised I didn't like as much which is Midnight Sun and Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I think I'm growing a little fonder of Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes but that's another video. Let's get into the four books that have surprised me. So the first book is a frequent flyer of this channel so far, but that is Witch and Wizard by James Patterson. I talked about the story of this book in my other video, uh, the four books that changed my life or that I care deeply about. I forget what I titled it. This book really surprised me with how much I liked it when I read it as a kid and I zoomed through it for that reading journal that I was doing. So this is one of the four books that really surprised me. The next book that really surprised me was actually a book that I was required to read in high school. I believe it was my junior year of high school. I don't remember if this was reading I had to do over the summer or reading during the school year, but I remember really, really liking this book. And that is Native Son by Richard White. I really liked the emotions that this book made me feel and kind of think about like myself and my whiteness. I think it was really the first time that I truly started to think about that. So I, I'm really surprised with how much I liked this book whenever, I think it was a reading from over the summer, we had like four books that we had to read. And then at the beginning of the school year, we could pick whichever book we wanted to like talk about. And I picked Native Son out of all the others. Obviously, I'm not, I, I don't love the story in the sense of like, yeah, I love that how everything happened. And I love that I just really liked how it was sadly kind of a slice of life in that time period. I think it was the 1930s. Um, so in the 1930s, it was kind of that slice of life. So I'm not, I don't like that aspect of the story of how true it was to life in America in the 1930s. But I liked the story in how it struck me and I'm just very surprised by how much I liked the book and I'm glad that I this was one of the books that I ended up picking reading because two of them I did not read. One of them I just didn't read in general and the other one I spark noted because I didn't want to read them, you know? The next book that surprised me with how much I liked it is The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell and I'm bad at keeping up with series so I've only read The Last Magician so I still have Devil's Thief which I'm hoping to read this year and then Serpent's Curse is on my bookshelf but I actually won this book in a giveaway off of Goodreads when I was in college so before I started using Storygraph but the concept sounded interesting. It wasn't something that I was fully pulled towards. I think it was one of the days that I literally just ran through all of Goodreads and if I thought the cover was cool and the story was even a little bit interesting, I entered the giveaway. I have... how many have I won? I think I've only other won one other book? No, that's wrong. I've won two electronic books but I've only won one other physical book which was actually an arc which was the Pax Journey Home. I won the arc of that shortly after reading the first Pax book but this is the first book I ever won in a giveaway and I read it and I remember in the beginning obviously in the beginning of new series you got to go things like understand things figure out what's happening but I remember pretty quickly in that I just got sucked in and I didn't realize I was sucked in until I was getting closer to the end. So this book really surprised me with how much I loved it, how much the world was intriguing to me. I liked the characters a lot. So I'm really hoping I can get to Devil's Thief this year. So we'll see how that goes. 
the last of four books that surprised me. There are other books that have surprised me. These are just the four that I picked for this video. But the last one is Gideon in the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. And also have not read Harrow or Nona the Ninth, hoping to get to Harrow this year and then Nona afterwards. But this one was actually a suggestion from Sarah Glenn Marsh, the author of the Reign of the Fallen Sister or the Reign of the Fallen series, The Girls Are Never Gone, and then what I dubbed the Cork Hill Chronicle. I <laughs> made a post and was asking for suggestions of more books with, you know, bisexual or female, you know, kind of romance characters. And she suggested this and another one don't remember the name of that one but she suggested this one so I immediately went to the store or the next time I had gone to the store I looked this one up and I was very lucky that my Barnes & Noble had it it was the last copy so I got this one and I'm not a big sci-fi person which is why I included it on this list so I'm trying to get more into sci-fi this was one of my first introductions into it I did read another series. It was more of a middle grade series. I got rid of it a while ago. But I really really liked this and like the plot was very intriguing and all that and then the ending, not gonna spoil it, but was so sad but also something I have not seen a lot of in books with stuff that happens to the main characters. It's only happened in one other book that I can think of and I think, let me look, yeah, and you can see it on the screen behind me somewhere. I haven't seen it happen to a lot of like main characters and not, you know, like secondary characters. So that was really fun and I can't wait to see how it kind of translates into Nona or into Harrow and then into Nona. But yeah, so Gideon the Ninth was also a book that very much surprised me and I hope I can get more into sci-fi even more after I finish this Locked Tomb trilogy. So those are the four books that have surprised me. I know I have more. I was looking at my shelves trying to figure out do I have more than four books, but I just picked these four. I, I know that there are more on these shelves. There are going to be more later that come through. And then of course there are the books that I read and I was shocked that I didn't like it, but we're not going to include those here. <laughs> Let me know those books down below that surprised you, whether it was a good surprise or a bad surprise. Put them down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another new video soon. A bientôt!